If you've learned any of the basic Travis picking guitar patterns and you want to know what to work on next, then the five intermediate finger picking guitar exercises in this lesson are for you. There are four main introductory Travis picking patterns, the outside inside pattern, the inside outside pattern, the pinch pattern and the descending arpeggio pattern. If you don't know any of those, then first watch my video called the top four finger picking guitar patterns that will get you started with the Travis picking style and it will lay the foundation for a lot of great finger picking guitar music. After learning any of those finger picking patterns, you'll probably wonder what to work on next to take them to the next level. So in this video, I'm going to show you five finger picking guitar exercises to take you from the beginner level to the intermediate level of this very cool sounding Travis Travis picking guitar style. I'll show you five things in this lesson to add way more depth and texture and interest to any of the basic finger picking guitar patterns. We're going to add an additional finger to be able to alternate strings on the high end on the kind of melodic area of the finger picking patterns. Similarly, we'll talk about alternating bass notes so we get alternating notes on the low end. I'll show you how to mute bass notes with a palm muting technique. I'll show you how to add even more melodic interest on the top by adding scale notes on the top end of the finger picking patterns. And lastly, I'll show you how to walk between chords with kind of a walking bass line that connects chords together, which is really, really cool sounding. That's what we're gonna cover. Let's go into it. So first let's talk about adding an additional finger. More importantly, adding um, an ability to alternate strings on the top. You actually don't have to use an additional finger, but I'm gonna recommend it and it's what I do. Let's take just a normal, uh, most typical open A minor chord shape. And let's review one of our basic four finger picking patterns. So this is the steps I would take. Take any pattern, any right hand finger picking pattern you want and review the original one. This is the outside inside pattern. Thumb, outside, thumb, inside, thumb, outside, thumb, inside. Okay, now be able to take that top note and instead of playing the second string, play the top string. And again, I use what's called the A finger or the ring finger uh, to do this, but you, a lot of players will not use that finger at all. They'll, they'll just use uh, their middle finger again to, to jump up to that string. So I do this. So do the exact same pattern, playing the top string instead of the second string, okay? Any finger you want really, but I do recommend it's nice to get used to using what's called the A finger in classical guitar. It's, it's a ring finger of the right hand or your plucking hand. Okay, after you do that, then try to alternate uh, between playing the original, the second string, and the top string. And just, so you play the original, then higher. The original, then higher. This is already giving it a lot more interest on the top just by alternating two, those two and then alternate it the other way where you play the high one first and then the original. Top string, second string, top string, second string. And that's really it and do that with any of the patterns. If we do that with the pinch pattern, which is kind of a lot of people's favorites, including mine, and I alternate it wherever I want, I'll go up there just sometimes or just alternate or alternate it strictly is fine or so being able to do all those steps with any of the patterns is going to help a lot with wanting to reach that string just to do that how it sounds uh, melodically there or to play actual scale melodies on that string which is coming up in a couple steps okay let's alternate the bass now let's take that outside inside pattern again and again, I'm going to show you on just one or two patterns and you can apply it to any right hand pattern, any of the four or any even additional patterns, you know. Now, instead of just A, A, A every time, A, 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 we're going to go A, A, E, and this guitar is tuned down a whole step, the whole guitar. I like to do that. It's still standard tuning, just everything is down a whole step. So I'm still thinking of it as A minor. So I'll say A, E. So that's an alternating bass, okay? We have one little problem with that. You do that with any of the patterns. Okay, the problem with that is that it can sound a little muddy all ringing together, right? So if you do it on C, you actually have to move your third finger to play that alternating bass. Which is pretty nice. So 
it's a little harder to do, but it takes care of that kind of overlapping muddy issue. Uh, the next step I want to do, which is the palm muting technique, is going to take care of that muddy issue if you do have these open strings. Okay, so let's go back to A minor, and I'm going to recommend that we do a palm muting technique and try to as much as you can kind of touch. This is pretty weird to get used to. It's very simple and, and really not going to seem hard at all once you can do it. But the first time you do it, you're going to either mute it completely or not mute it at all. But you just want to barely touch the strings right kind of partially on the bridge and partially on the strings to get this kind of muted, damped, dampened sound. Okay. Now, don't worry if you're muting just the bass note. If it's muting a little bit of the other, even a little bit up there, that's okay. Probably you don't want to get that top note muted. That does sound cool. If you want that sound, great. But, but in general, you want those at least that very top note to ring a little bit and have the other ones muted. Now, if you mute like that, it takes care of that low end kind of muddiness because the note dies off, they don't ring over each other so much. Okay, or. Okay, the next thing I wanna talk about is adding a scale on the top. We're not gonna get into worrying about the theory or anything, I want you to just totally go by ear and we'll take this A minor again and take any of the patterns and just think, can, what if I just try a different note on that second string? Okay, so if I let go of the first finger and have an open second string, very nice. And add that back in and just kind of take a guess and say, well, what if I put my pinky down here? Oh, nice. Right, what if I put my pinky down here? All right, well, if, that might be surprising if you didn't expect that sound, or it might be the sound that you want in some cases. A lot of times, it's pretty unusual that we'll go, you know, from the from this A major to A minor like that. But you'll find notes that just sound good to you melodically. Now, use the top string as well, since we got this technique from step one to play the top string. Pretty cool. I'm gonna play it on C. So it's adding melody on the top two strings. And now you can alternate between the two strings, find whatever notes sound good to you, just explore by ear that way, and then just kind of play through them and you're starting to add melody to it. And it really adds a lot to these patterns. And the very last thing to take these to the next level, and of course we can start to combine them as well, which really gets quite fancy. But um, let's talk about walking bass notes between chords. Okay, so the idea is simply, that you have some sort of bass kind of melody sound walking doo, 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 between the chords. How do we start to execute that? It's It can seem pretty tricky at first. So what I want you to do is pretty much just plan it out, like figure out, stumble around with it and, and figure out how much time do I have to give myself ahead of time duh, 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 to play all the notes I wanna play from one chord to the next, from, from one root of one chord to the next chord. It can be anything you want. With this as well, I want you to just go by ear. So I did this, C, ba, ba, A minor, ba, ba, T. Okay, but what if you want to, da, 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 da. That also works really great. So you can decide for yourself, how many notes do you want to try to connect? Da, ba, 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 ba. That means I had to stop a little earlier with the actual pattern and just go into that walking bass mode. So. Don't expect to just be able to do that, map it out, plan it out, repeat it, practice it, and have those ready to go. So you could similarly go ba, 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 down to G, ba, 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 back to C, da, 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 up to D, or da, 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 up to E minor, or really just start to try anything and everything. If you know what chord you're playing in a song or in a progression, it shouldn't be too hard to just say, well, I could try to connect with this. I could try to connect with all of these notes and just see what you like the sound of. If you want a huge amount of awesome and 
pretty easy to play chords to practice these finger picking patterns and finger picking exercises with. Then download my free chord chart called Chords with Color. It's a very cool chord chart that shows the chords through five different keys, but then a huge amount of alternate options for those chords where you can add color notes to them and extensions and have chords that can replace other chords. And there's many cool ways to use the chord chart. One of them being you can just try a bunch of the chords out and practice these finger picking patterns with them just to get uh, some different sounds. You can get that chord chart totally for free with the link in the very top of the description, or you can go to soundguitarlessons.com slash chords with color. If you're interested in this finger style, finger picking guitar kind of sound, and you want to go even deeper, I have a really cool lesson about improvising progressions and adding a lot of interest and melody, uh, kind of similar to what we talked about here. I have a lesson about that that I highly recommend watching next. I'll put a link to that in the description, and there should be a link right on the screen here if you're watching on YouTube, so you can click on that to watch it next. I post a new lesson video every week. Next week's lesson is on the modes of the melodic minor scale, how to use them, how to practice them on the guitar, and what chords to play them over. It's going to be a really cool lesson. Hope to see you there. Thanks for watching. Take care and happy practicing.